Have you ever wanted to learn how to make a video game just like Minecraft? Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. Today we are taking a look at Microsoft's Hour of Code. They have partnered with Mojang to create a tutorial for kids to use to learn the very basics of coding. It's online, free for anyone to test out. So I'm going to jump in and look at it. So here we are at the Hour of Code. First you choose a character, Alex or Steve. And I'll go ahead and choose Steve here. So uh, there are various different areas. By the way, there's music, which is quite nice. So I'm just going to talk while the music plays. Uh, you have different areas to sort of your workstation. You have this little view window to see into your Minecraft world. Underneath is the run command, which will run whatever you put into your workspace. This is a workspace. And you have these blocks, which can stack on each other whenever you bring a block close to another. And you see that nice uh, highlight down there. Uh, they will snap together. So you can snap together your commands. And if you're done with them, you can move them over to the uh, area over here where you can grab more and add your commands sort of in a line. It'll go from top to bottom whenever you run a command, when you actually hit the run button down here. And if you get too messed up and too confused here, you can always hit the start over button and it will start over from the very beginning. Uh, there is a few videos that play, uh, and so it will walk you through. Here it is right here, the introduction uh, from Jens there. And if you ever forget what exactly you're doing, there is a uh, prompt down here. So add a second move forward uh, command to reach the sheet. So just to show you uh, what would happen if you just try something, uh, I didn't add another move forward, so we're just going to run this and see what happens. He moves forward once, and then he fails because he doesn't get to the sheep. So we're going to try again here. So I'm going to grab this block that says move forward and drag it onto my workspace. By the way, if you ever add, this is, uh, I believe that this would complete my, my goal here. But if you ever add one of these turns, any of these blocks that have, has this drop down right here, you can change what it does. So you can change the option to turn right or left if you accidentally get the wrong one. So we're just gonna drag that out because I don't believe that is needed. So we're gonna reset Steve here, back to the beginning, boop, and we're gonna run it. Yeah, that's right, I did just fine. So we're gonna move on. There are 12, or sorry, 14 puzzles to get through. Uh, and so I've just completed puzzle one. By the way, if you wanna see the actual code that you're writing, so right here, look at this, move forward twice. So I wrote two lines of code with these blocks. Each block represents an actual line of code. Uh, I believe that it is JavaScript. So now we're gonna gather wood and we've been given an extra uh, command, destroy block. I've actually, you've seen, I've actually completed up to seven of these uh, already. So that's why this is the code that I had uh, used before. Move forward, move forward and destroy block. So you can see, hey, that works. Ding! And we get some awesome epic music in the background. So uh, you can see the code once again. Now, later, uh, you get more and more complicated uh, scenarios. And this is the point where things get a little bit crazy. Look at how much code we're working with. Uh, this is quite a lot of lines of code. So they introduce another mechanic, which is loops. So uh, loops are incredibly powerful. Loops are used always uh, in in coding to do something that you're going to repeat a lot of times. So in this tutorial, my Steve is trying to build a wall. And so either here's one way that I could accomplish it is by placing down birch, moving forward, placing down birch, moving forward. And I have to do this four times on on each of the dirt. Uh, dirt places and and we keep going we keep going you can see that it's gonna get very long and complicated so we're going to use a repeat command or a loop instead and so we're just gonna get rid of this get out of here and for four times and you can change this like I said before uh, my Steve will place down birch and then move forward. So you can see that after the four, he should stop because I've only told him to do it four times. And let's go ahead and run this. 
there we go. Good looking. It's looking great. By the way, I'm going to reset him. Oh, thank you. Uh, if we wanted to change this, I could change it to something else. So let's let's do spruce. Ooh la la. And uh, you can change the block that he uses. And that way, in the next step, uh, you'll actually be creating your house. Easy, medium, or hard. I chose hard because, you know, why not? Uh, but anyway, in these steps, you can change uh, the color as well. Just, just if you want. But you can see how it gets very complicated. This is my hard house that I ended up uh, making. And in fact, the first time that I tried this, I had a bug in my code. Let me just remove that. This is what happened the first time I ran this. I thought that I had everything right where he turns correctly. He loops three times, placing down three blocks. He moves forward, turns. And then you can see I accidentally there. It was very fast. But what happened was my Steve stepped off, turned, he moved forward, he turned, and then he immediately placed uh, a plank here on the grass, not on the dirt. So I had a bug in my code. So I had to come down here and add this move forward command to my code. And then my Steve accomplished the code correctly. Now this is getting very complicated and what's really cool, see so he does it correctly, it's really nice. What's really cool is you can also, once you're finished, still see the code that you are creating. Now this is a very hard house, so you, you guys don't have to do it uh, just as difficult as I did. But look at all this code that I basically ended up writing. This is fantastic. So you can see all of the code. Now. Uh, moving on, I'm going to end here with number seven so that you guys can, actually I was on eight, uh, but so that you can e explore and experiment on your own, learn code yourself, get out there and complete all of the 14 challenges. They're really fun and uh, you learn quite a lot while doing it. So I hope that you have learned something amazing code.org slash MC is the place to go for you to learn for yourself. Big thanks to Microsoft for also sending me the surface for me to use while doing the hour of code. If you want to see more episodes of OMG Craft, youtube.com slash OMG Craft is the place to go. You can also subscribe there. Let me know what you thought of this episode by leaving a like or a comment down below and I will see you next time on OMG Craft. Bye!